1059 Quick Rock, it's Rick Rock with uh, Lejean Witherspoon, better known as LJ from Seven Dust. Yes, sir. Listen, thanks for being uh, on the show and taking time to be here with me today. I really it's, appreciate it very much. It's a pleasure to be on your show with your incredible energy, my brother. Thank you for taking the time. Hey, you know it. Now, listen, this is what's cool. You know, you guys, uh, you guys have been rocking since the 90s. And, and I have to know, you know, all those years, what's, what's that journey been like over the years for you guys? Oh, man, it's been <laughs> crazy. Uh, I turned 50 last October 3rd, so I, I don't even I feel like, man, it's been a long, it's been a journey. There's been some ups and downs. There's been some divorces. There's been some marriages. There's been kids. There's been, uh, you know, people that has passed away. We've grown up together, man. And it, I feel like that's the reason we're so close is because we've been through all those type of things together and there ain't nowhere else to go because it was just us. And uh, that's what's kept this band together for that long uh, is the love and the respect that we have for each other, uh, the bringing each other back and having each other's backs and, uh, and going through this, uh, this crazy world that puts these obscure obstacles in front of us in some type of way, we kind of get around them and here we are again, you know, yeah. Through music, you know, through music. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, sir. So, you know, it's always it's always interesting to hear. And I like asking this, you know, about, you know, being on tour and, you know, with the years in the business, there's got to be a memory that comes to mind. If you care to share one of those uh, tour moments. Like something crazy. Whatever, man, whatever. Like there's, got, you know, that wow factor of. I know, I know where I want to go with this. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you what. All right. Yeah, All right. So like Wood, Woodstock, Woodstock 99. OK. We played. It was incredible. I don't know why they didn't put us in that damn documentary. Anyway, <laughs> they had Jules. Yeah. The reason she stopped playing is because Seven Dust started playing and everyone ran over top of the hill like 50,000. I can't remember how many people ran over top of the hill. Anyway, show was incredible. They did all kind of crazy stuff. All kind of crazy stars on the side of the stage from Aerosmith to just all Willie Nell. You could see everybody. It was incredible energy. Uh, that night, We've done the show. It was crazy. So now we're getting ready to go watch the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, boy. And we're on side stage. And I couldn't believe it that they were there on a the stage and fleeing. They had the socks on the, you know, they had the socks on the private areas. I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. <laughs> They're really doing this. And then it was like almost famous. All of a sudden, you look out and the water tanks, Some you hear something blow up. Boom. And these kids are setting these water tanks on fire and they're like uh, everyone's kind of frustrated and the red hot chili peppers are playing. And then all these security guards and head of the staff or whatever comes up on stage and all the artists get in your tour bus and duck down and get out of here. It's going to be a riot. And I remember we were on an old Eagle and uh, our tour manager, I remember big red saying, get out, get out. And we're all like looking out of the bus. Like, this is crazy. This is rock and roll, man. And everything's burning and, but yeah, that was a true story, man. That was Woodstock 99, but we got out of there. But uh, what an experience to see being on the stage with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and then being forced to get on the bus and being escorted out of New York, wherever we were at in the mountains of where Woodstock was at. But yeah. uh, that's definitely an experience. One of the ones, there's so many other ones, but that's something I definitely remember that was really cool to yeah. be a, to not be a part of the terrible stuff that sure, sure. people get ripped off, but just to, you know, be a kid and, and feeling like this is crazy, man. This you're is like, and you're like, I, I can't stay down. I got to see what's going on. Yeah, we're up there looking. We're in the band now. We're looking, man. People, you know, yelling, banging on the bus and stuff. And yeah, we made it out safely. But it, that was definitely that was rock. <laughs> wow. Well, it's I. Uh, that thanks for sharing that, man. It's always yeah. cool to hear, you know, those stories. And you know, here at One Hundred Five Quick Rock, man, we play your new song, Everything, and that thing is climbing the rock charts. So congratulations on that. Thank, thank you very yeah. much. I feel like that song is definitely a homage to uh, uh, th the past pandemic and everyone kind of being down. And uh, it's something to look forward to, to look up. And uh, yeah. that's a, a uplifting song. And we definitely want everyone to feel like they can be everything because we all can together. You know, yeah, well, that was my question, you know, uh, for our listeners, you know, and uh, you just gave some of the background on what inspired that song is the pandemic. I mean, goodness. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, and it's time to get back, man. We want to be everything and we can show. And I feel like it's the energy's here for it, man. Like with this, like you're saying, this song climbing, that's crazy. That's great. But it's a different air. It, and it's a, it's something contagious, not the bad contagious, it's a good contagious in yeah. the air uh, in yeah. these concerts because we've been kind of held up for so long. Uh, the people are out everyone's smiling 
Uh, they're out early, knowing the band ain't going to be out of that bus till 930 at night to go inside there. But they're out at 10 o'clock in the morning and the energy is great. You got to be out there with them. You know, uh, that last tour, I was tailgating at like 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what am I doing out there? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Let's just do a shot of Jaeger with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. LJ, well, that gives me to this, you know. We're getting fired up for you coming to PA, man. On the oh, okay. uh, Yeah, the Ponds and the – it's the Ponds and King store – with Alderbridge and Mammoth WVH at First Summit Arena, man, what can you tell? What can you give? Give us a little insight on what the fans can expect. I mean, you got so much music in your in in your arsenal. Like, what is it? The vibe? Do you have a set? What, what do you got? Yeah. Right? First off, the show's gonna be crazy. First, just all right. Us and Alderbridge, we're brothers. We've grown up together. We have such a good time. It's a great tour. But what I'm so excited about too is finally touring with Wolfie and the boys. Because we've been buddies and family with Wolfies ever since, you know, he was a baby. Yeah. So just to be able to tour with him and after seeing the show, oh, man, we, I, I just can't wait. It's going to it's gonna be a love fest out there with us brothers out there grilling out every night, hanging out, you know. And it's, and it's going to be a night of great music and just a, a lot of good energy. You know, uh, I look forward to that run. Yeah. I look forward to that run. I look forward to the – I can't believe we're going to be going out with Dope and Static X in October. You know, that's crazy. I tell you, we're back, man. Music is back. Yes, you know? it is. You know, I mean, I mean uh, it's, gonna, it's, it's been 24, 25 years since we've performed with Dope. But yeah. it's so funny that me and Etzel have been buddies and brothers ever since then, have done music behind the scenes that people don't know about, that have done, you know, this really cool yeah. stuff. So he's always been very cool. And it's kept his promise. And we said that this was going to happen a while back. And look, it's happening now. So I, my hat's off to Edsel. Yeah. Mad respect, man. Mad respect. Yeah, absolutely. Great. So, listen, man, we're pumped for it. We're excited. You know, we're giving tickets away. I'm going to be at the show. So I hope to get to meet you in person, of course. What's you know, up, man? Let's stuff. make sure we say what's up. I, hey, let's make sure we meet, brother. We have to. I would appreciate that very much. I would, yes, that would be awesome. Um, yes, and, and that, what's, uh, what's the best way for fans, uh, you know, to follow you guys? What's the best seven app? dust? What is it? The Instagram seven dust. That's all I do is Instagram. I'm sure we got the seven dust Facebook. I still call stuff Atari, man. I'm old school, but uh, <laughs> you know, seven dust, seven dust official.com. Yeah. And then the seven dust Instagram page. And then I have my, what is it? LJ spoon on Instagram okay. is me. You know, I look like Django, but uh, it's uh, it's cool. You know, all that social media outlets we're on there and stuff. Uh, thank the Lord for social media. When you have someone like me, it's like, I get in the phone to my wife. I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> I love it. Well, man, listen, thanks for being on the show today. LJ, Thank pleasure. You. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to the content. I know our listeners are looking forward to it. So we're going to well, see God you bless there. you, man. We'll see Thank you there, you. okay? Good energy. I'll talk to you soon. I look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks, brother. Peace.